So let's talk about another new button combination on the X platform. Here I've got uh, my alternating twin. I have a system that's in service alarm mode. The service alarm has trip to notify us that periodic maintenance is due. Under the old system, we had to reprogram it in order to reset it. The new system is very easy. You'll notice any time the service alarm's on, you can use the next button to cycle through all the user screens, which the display will match the system. Blue for softener, green for filter. When you arrive at the service alarm screen, it turns to red. That's to alert the user, and if you're on Energy Saver Auto, all displays, the blue and the red, green if it's a filter, will remain on until the service alarm's reset. It's very easy to do. You want to cycle through the screens, make sure you're on the service alarm screen, and while it's on that screen, you push the up and the down buttons together and hold them until it clears. And that resets the service alarm. Now it's also important to know that you can reset the service alarm at any time, even prior to its trigger point. You do that by entering level one programming and going to the service alarm mode. That's the next and the down button. Cycle through the screens till after the relay. If it's an AQ, the relay screens will be there. You get to the service alarm, and in this case, this one's set on both gallons and time. It'll tell you the values for each one. And as you cycle through, it'll give you scheduled service in, in this case, 364 days, or in 100 gallons. Now, if partial of that gallon setting is used while on that screen at any time, you can push the up and down arrows and reset that back to its original value without having to reprogram it. So again, that's a new feature added to the service alarm and it's a button combination that makes that process easier. Be sure to see the technical bulletin so that you can completely understand the service alarm, how it can be used, and how these button combinations make it easier.